Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi! I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. I appreciate I appreciate your editing just er erasing Ryan out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. Uh I I absolutely want Shulk to be in the lead for uh for this. Oh, you don't say. Go into Sword Valley where the big uh the big mech on base is and you want Shulk in the lead. Can't imagine why that would be the case. <laughs> Actually, once we hit Sword Valley, it'll be fine. I'm not going to ha need Shulk in the lead ever again. But until we actually hit th hit that, yes, Shulk is going to be in the lake or uh, lead, not the lake. <laughs> also, it's most it's mostly a straight shot down. But uh, if I may make a recommendation for anyone playing along, please hug the south wall of this area, because otherwise there's uh, you won't find any landmarks. And uh, if you die on the way down, uh, you're gonna have to uh, walk all the way back from the the chapel. So can we just take a moment to appreciate Shulk's stupid snow run? Is it actually any different from his normal run? I don't know, like the the, the weird downhill and up, uphill run, may, maybe? Like, maybe it's just the fact that he's basically like wearing like skin tight to uh, like pants and a shirt now that you can actually appreciate like the body animations. Nice. I'm sorry. I was uh hoping that the uh, cliff would um would have some landings on the way. <laughs> you fool. I mean that <laughs> is understandable. Uh, like I said, Xenoblade platforming jank is pretty. It's right up there with some with Skyrim jank. Yeah, because I, I was gonna say like, if you could like kind of graze an incline on your way down in Skyrim like it kind of cancels out like all your momentum and like makes the fall less lethal. Yeah, some some cliffs can do that in uh in Xenoblade. Like there there are absolutely a couple cliffs in Xenoblade 2 that I just kind of walked around the other night just by like falling very carefully. As usual, it is a uh, significantly more pronounced in Xenoblade X when you can jump like 50 feet in the air mm. and can find this jank much easier. Yes, yes. Uh, I forget. Does Xenoblade X let you climb on, uh, climb up walls and shit? Uh, no, there's no climbing in uh, X. It's basically, like, there, there, there's a lot of very conveniently, like, tower-shaped objects with, like, sort of walkways and spirals around them that you can get up. Okay. And then, basically, like, the other 80% of that is just, get a flight scale, you stupid idiot. Yeah, yeah. Once once you have the scales, why bother walking? Unless, you know, Pete, the scale will physically will not fit. It has been a long time since I've actually played X though, so So no snowboarding, huh? Nope. That's a shame. Yeah, which sucks because like the Monado, like especially since it's got its upgrade, is like very conveniently like a uh, like sort of disc sled shaped now. Mm. Like all Shulk has to do is just like 
put it down facing forward, sit his ass down in the giant hole in the middle, and just go wee all the way down the mountain. Please. I mean, he, he, he'd, hit a, he'd hit like a bump, go flying up, and then as, as soon as he touches down, he'd die. I mean, that's only part of the fun. The question is, would, would he get a Monado Vision before he hit the bump or not? Ooh. Hmm. Beware, he would probably if he take a vision about the bump he's going to hit, and then try to avoid it, therefore causing him to hit it in the first place. You wear a shulk, if you hit this rock, you'll lose your combo. Not bad. Not bad at all. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard! I was really hoping that uh, just pulling the, the leader of that pack would only pull only the leader, but... Nah, he, he brings uh, the other guys, too. Anyway, the landmark I was talking about is uh, that big tower over there. sudden acceleration I forgot there was a uh, the, the, the Nofal Towers tower is surrounded by ice yeah with 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 the ice you just kind of go from zero to a hundred real fast especially if you're going down an incline which uh I, I think actually makes the, the ice physics uh a little more touchy than Xenoblade 2's. Anyway, as we approach the uh, base of the mountain, it's cutscene time. That Mekon. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... you know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there. Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! What was that? Metal face. Stay alert! You killed my father! Get him! Get away from her! No, no, let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You... You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> but you're... How's it going, Dunman? Is that...
Munkar. I thought it might be, but you're to blame for all this. I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet? What are you willing to do? Would you even kill a Homs to beat us? You dare ask that of us? Why did you betray us the Conis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You wanna know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So, unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... <sighs> so what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> We will not bow to you! Will you hit that guy in face? Uh, you'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar, and you're not getting away. So, hey, uh, remember Mumkar? <laughs> Why can you literally say, like, and that's why we can't do that, Jabo, and then Melia literally does what I suggested. <laughs> well, I meant it more as why they shouldn't, but, uh... Why Melia that? realizes that, uh... Since when has we shouldn't do thing ever stopped this party? <laughs> yeah, true. Also, the, this game has a certain quota of just Mumcar being a complete asshole that it needs to fulfill every time he's on screen, so... They had to get that out of the way first. Yeah. Fair, I suppose. Anyway, Mumkar is the reason why I, uh, you should have Shulk up front here, because otherwise, uh, your other party members aren't going to be able to do anything? E except maybe Melia? I don't remember if, uh, he's vulnerable to Aether or not. Uh... I remember the first time I got to this fight, uh, I had a really hard time with it. But, uh, if, if, as long as you come into it appropriately leveled, uh, you should be fine. Just keep your, your team, uh, enchanted as necessary, uh, and you'll be alright. So, basically, now, now that we've gotten to the big reveal regarding Mumkar's character, uh, there's a interesting slash offensive factoid about his character that you were talking about like name changes last time around Jabo. So uh, his mech on for Metal Face is called Metal Face in the uh, North American version. Guess what it's called in the Japanese version? You fought beside me! That's Sword Valley! Why did you change sides? Uh, why the mech on? You're as blind as you were then! I've wanted you dead for years! What's happening? Is the boy on his movie? I wanted to get to Monado so I could be the new hero! Is that it? That's the pure reason you've killed all those innocent people! Ravaged our home! I love this body! <laughs> the power! Strike you down and all that you have become, you wretched fool. The Monado will stop you, and then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! That light! It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. 
This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mechonis, an agent of Mainet. Leader of Mechonis? So you're the one who controls the Mechon? I am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionic. Why? Why do you trap bombs in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the comics. Come and visit any time, Dunban! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionis. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you! So do you think they actually recorded like a bunch of distinct Fiora screams or did they just take the one he did in the beginning of the game and just like copy and paste it a whole bunch? No, they got a, they got like six different versions. Yeah, that, that was basically the take where the director walked into the sound booth, smashed his hand with a hammer, and that was the result you got from it.